Monsieur Macron, enough is enough. It took you a while to land in Israel after October 7. By the time you showed up, most European leaders had already been here to show their support. You tried to make up for this delay by proposing an international coalition against Hamas. But less than three weeks later, you accused Israel, in a BBC interview, of killing women and children. Since then, you've been calling for a ceasefire. But a ceasefire would have denied Israel victory. You boycotted Israeli companies from the Eurosatory military exhibit in Paris in June, and now you're creating obstacles to their participation in the Euronaval exhibit in November. You've called for a military embargo on Israel. You have wrongly claimed that Israel owes its existence to the UN, and now you've called us barbarians. We barbarians? We're fighting barbarism. The barbarism of Hamas that murdered in cold blood, beheaded, burned alive, raped, tortured, and kidnapped Israeli citizens on October 7. The barbarism of Hezbollah that has been firing rockets at our towns, cities, and infrastructures for a year, and that was ready to invade northern Israel to commit the atrocities of October 7 on a larger scale. The barbarism of Iran that murders its own citizens when they demand freedom, and that for the past three decades has been building a web of military proxies and a nuclear program with the declared aim of destroying the state of Israel. Israel is using its right to self-defense, and it is applying it while observing the rules of international law against an enemy that despises them. Contrary to what you said at the UN last month, there is a justification and an explanation for the civilian victims of this conflict that was imposed on us. There is no war without civilian victims, and Hamas tries everything to maximize the number of civilian victims despite Israel's efforts in minimizing them. Proportionally, Israel is making fewer civilian victims in Gaza than the French army and its allies in the battles of Raqqa and of Mosul in 2017. When you accuse Israel of barbarism, you are not only talking nonsense. You are insulting and defaming 9 million Israelis. You are insulting and defaming our sons, including mine, who are bravely fighting while observing the rules of engagement in order to deny Iran and its proxies the ability to implement their genocidal and barbaric plan against Israel and against the Jewish people. Israel and the world are at a historical turning point. We are in the middle of a battle for Western civilization. Israel is proud to be at the forefront of this battle. We are thankful to our allies, first and foremost the United States, Germany and many European countries. Sadly, France is no longer on that list because of you. This will not stop us from winning, but it will deny your country a place among those who chose to be on the right side of history.